Hi everyone, today I'm going to show you how I unblocked my bathroom sink. I built this sink unit a couple of years now. I uh, wish I'd done a video on it, because basically what I did, these things sometimes can cost over a grand in the shops. I'll post a link in the description tab at the end of the video to uh, my blog where I described how I made it, but basically I bought a Victorian sideboard for about 45 quid on eBay, took the top off and modified the inside, got some marble cut and basically sorted out all the plumbing. And look, cut long story short, made myself a very nice double undermount sink unit for the bathroom. But probably once a year, I get a bit of a problem because in the bathroom, obviously you're using a lot of toothpaste and washing your face and shaving and stuff. So you get a lot of gunk in the sink and you know it's blocked when basically it drains very, very slowly, as you can see here. Only just drained out now. In marked contrast to the other sink, where <coughs> watch this one, you can hear it draining much quicker, and that's drained in a matter of seconds. I'm sure there are lots of you out there who have a similar problem to this, and I think I know the answer. I think there's a buildup of sludge in the bottle trap underneath the sink, so I'm going to take a look now and see if we can sort it out. Now, I've just got to start with a small apology. I don't use gloves in this video. I don't know why I was going to. I know it grossed out a few people when I cleared my shower waist and they were like, oh, why don't you wear gloves? I should have done. It doesn't set a great example. So, get yourself a set of gloves, marigolds, whatever you can find, because it will make this job so much more pleasant. So, looking inside the cupboard, there's the bottle trap. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna remove that and see what's inside. So, what I've done here, I've got my, I've got a bucket. <laughs> a little bit of water and washing up liquid in the bottom and I place that underneath the bottle trap to catch anything that falls out because there will obviously be a lot of water in this trap. The point of these traps is to create a water reservoir that bad smells and odours can't pass through and also obviously it's quite handy because it becomes a very useful removable component that enables you to actually clean out your sink. So what I'm doing now is I'm just gonna undo the two joints. Like that. Now I should be able to quite easily remove the bottle trap. You can immediately see we've got some nasty gunk and stuff there, hair and stuff. This is what clogs up wastes very quickly and stops them flowing properly. And looking into the pipe itself, you can see a buildup of sort of slimy residue that is also not helping the water to drain. So this is so it's very important that we are cleaning this today, and it's, it would be a good idea to do this regularly so that you avoid any of this slimy buildup going further down into your drains. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to get a cloth and I'm just going to clean out this pipe. I made a bit of an error here. When I was doing the plumbing for this sink unit, I did solve well pipe work on everything up to the bottle trap itself. And I hope it's a bit of an error because it has meant that I can't now remove any of these pipes if the slime and sludge goes further down the system. But you know, you live and you learn. I think next time I'd probably use this push fit pipe, piping much further down and not just up at the top where the bottle trap is. Right, so that's nice and clean now. Now we've got this disgusting mess here. So I'm just gonna pull that out. Now you've basically got to use whatever you can get your hands on, whether it's an old toothbrush or a screw. I'm gonna use a, my pair of pliers here to pull out sort of hair and stuff. The 
that's caught in the sink waste. The last thing I cleaned something like this, I did gross out a few people. Um, apologies if that's the case. A lot of people say I should be using gloves to do this, but oh, look at that. Yuck. You could use a sort of proprietary cleaner or a sort of one of these sink unblocking products. And I might try that in a, in a video in a six to 12 months time when I have to do this again. But you know if you do it this way, it's obviously cheaper and you know that it's gonna be incredibly effective because these cleaners are not going to dissolve and get rid of the hair as effectively as we've just done. As you can see, it's looking much cleaner now. And now what I'm going to do is spray some sort of surface cleaner onto an old paintbrush. I'm just passing that through the drain to try and clean away as much of the residual scum and gunk as I can. Just give it a little bit of a run low into the bucket. I agree that's looking pretty good now. So we're absolutely sure that this waste pipe is clear. I'm just going to shove my little kitchen cloth all the way up. A small matter of cleaning the bottle trap itself. So we're going to unscrew the base. That should look pretty clean in there. So we'll give the the base of the bottle trap, just a little bit of a clean out. You can see it doesn't look great up there. So a couple of things you can do. I'm just going to wrap a screwdriver around um, the kitchen cloth, pass that up through bottle trap, bringing out all of that gunk. See there's a bit of slime in there as well. So I'm just going to give that a little bit of a clean as well. I've just got an old kitchen scouring pad here. Shove that up. Here we go. It's looking better. Give it a rinse in the bucket. A few minutes later and the trap is now completely clean and ready to be put back together. I'm just literally going to screw the base of the bottle trap back on. And now I'm just going to reconnect these two sections. nice and tight. I have to screw the plug back on. And now for the acid test. A nice full bowl of water and let's see what happens when we let it out. Much, much better. So I really hope you found this video useful today. It, I know it's a gross, it's a horrible job, uh, but sadly it's one that we have to do in our homes more often than you would have liked, probably every six months to a year or so, because bathroom sinks get a lot of flack from toothpaste and face wash and all those sort of things. So it's a good thing to do if you can regularly maintain the bottle trap, the S trap, P trap, whatever it is that's underneath your sink then you know that that slime, that gunk, isn't moving further down into the waste pipe system, which could give you more major problems to clear. So that's it for today. If you like this video, it'd be great if you could click on the like button below. And if you're new to my channel, I'd love to have you subscribe. You can do that by clicking on the link here.